Yeah. Hello. Hey. We're, we're zoomed in. Well, so now much. we're zoomed in, Ben. Are you? We're yeah, zoomed in like that. Okay. Oh. We're zooming. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Booze on a Budget with the Horror Squad. Welcome. What are we drinking today? Well, first I'd like to say we're happy to be here. Okay, today we are drinking <laughs> Hirsch Selected Whiskeys, the spirit of the journey. I don't know which journey that is, but it's the spirit of it. Straight bourbon whiskey. Well, I think it's just 92 proof. any journey. Um, they got a little mash bill on the back. We've got 94% of this bottle is aged four years and 11 months. It's 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% barley malt. The other 6% was aged for six years and eight months, 60% corn, 30%, 36% rye, and 4% barley malt. Cool, let's taste this. It's got a pretty mild scent, which I'm into. It's not like that usual really sharp whiskey scent. It's a little smoother smelly. Yeah, it's, it's, it smells nice. It's not astringent. It's kind of, I don't know. It's warm. Caramel? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't Can't know. Read too much but let's just it. taste it. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. What are we doing? Well, yeah, what are we doing? Hi, party people. <laughs> I know, Today, what, what are we doing? What I'm are like... we doing? We're doing a review of oh. Hirsch. Is that how you say it? I really like this blue. It feels very like New Mexico and deserty. But I also just got back from I was gonna say, that it was region. Like beachy, but it was ooh, like, beachy could work too. Is it? I don't know. Is that a sextant on the front? What's that symbol? Do y'all know? Do you know? Is that a sextant? Hella. What is that? Okay, you ready, spaghetti? Uh, sure. Splash. That's good. That's great. Okay. Great. Awesome. What awesome. are we? What are we having for dinner? <laughs> Ew. Sorry, sorry, friends. If you like cheesesteaks, I love cheese. It's offensive. Jesus, this. I, oh man. Okay, I really like this blue. I can't get over it. It makes me excited about it's nice, it. It's like almost teal. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, it just makes me want to go back to the desert. And oh. Never come back. There's a whole story in there if you read the back of the label through the whiskey. I'm gonna have to take a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, everybody. We'd like to welcome back Brian, your favorite actual reviewer of Horror Squad. He's been away because of the COVID lockdown and has just been released from the lockdown and come back to us. Yeah, they put Even me though in we've been here all year. Quarantine. They put me in quarantine. Brian was quarantined. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, is this a movie review? Yes. <laughs> so Army of the Dead is about... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so we're back. Squad is now at a full 100% capacity, uh, except for Liz. <laughs> so 99%? So we're at 99% capacity. Um, and today we're reviewing Hirsch Selected Whiskey. Is it even... Yeah, straight bourbon whiskey. Um, Brian actually Wait, doesn't this? even like whiskey, so this is... Why we actually do these reviews. I don't drink. He that's why I don't drink. have any friends. Brian doesn't have any friends. Um, Hirsch. Um, so let's try this out. We no point in reading it over and over. Like, oh gosh. This was Hirsch, the sextant of the seas. Arr. Sextant of the seventies. Oh wow, I'm doing a new shot. Um this was recommended to me by my friends, the liquor wizard at the booze barn. He said they just got this in. This is I don't know if this is barrel selected by them, but this is new. He liked the flavors on it, so this is our recommendation from him. Um, so let's, smells like a clean bourbon. 
Clink it, bump it, clink it, bump it, and then dump ready, it. dump it. Ooh, definitely spicier than it smells. Tastes like bourbon. <laughs> um, it's it's spicy on the tongue today. But, it, it, but yeah, but it's not too. It goes down tongue, easy. So, yeah. And it really has a complex flavor that I don't know how to describe. I just don't know enough. I don't it does care have no a enough. complex flavor. It's still, I don't know, it's still kind of astringent. It is spicy on the lips and the tongue. In a very traditional whiskey sense, but... I don't know. I feel like the more... Down, it, it's not bad. The more it sits there, it kind of just keeps opening up. Um, mm -hmm. I don't get but I don't have like a specific like flavor where I'm like, oh, this is that or this or whatever. This but I like woody. it. How much does this one cost? 34 bucks. What do you think? I think that's a good deal. It's not bad. 34 is it's it's worth it. But I would totally get something else if I had 34 dollars. <laughs> that's, that's just me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking blend, blended whiskeys, high west, it's in that high range. West is always my go-to. But I don't know. I, th I think this one's really good, and I would drink it a second or third time. I would drink sure. it again, definitely. I think for the for the price, it's good because everything's gone up, and That's true. so. In this price range now, I think this is a, a good solid bourbon. Yeah, bourbons are hard to find these days. Mm, I wouldn't say that. There's what do you, what do you think, like, if you compare it to, let's say, the $21 Larson, does this have a better flavor to you, or would you just get Larson? I mean, I would just get Larson. Yeah, but I feel like I'd get Larson. Yeah. But Larson is good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just saying it's, and it's cheaper. Yeah, it's... It's, it's in the budget thing. I think if it's a lot like they were, like, you know... Well, that's why I always have Larceny. See, that's not, I'm not a fan of like, I mean, Larceny is okay, but I'm not like a huge fan of it. And same th with this, but I would just totally still take Larceny over this scotch. just because it's cheap. <laughs> I am a scotch lady. I've been finding out. <laughs> well, there you have it. Yep. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Um, I'd rather be watching Deadwood. Uh -oh. Um, it's not the, it's actually, I feel like I always really dread caramely colored things, but this was okay. Um, once you get over like the initial like, oh fuck, um, I'm drinking whiskey, right? Right, this is whiskey, yes. There's bourbon, they're so similar. Y'all please don't bourbon hate me. Bourbon is whiskey, oh son of a bitch. Bourbon whiskey. <laughs> but it's really not bad, it has a, it has a soft aftertaste, like once you get over the initial like kind of goosebumpy and uh, feeling, it's kind of soft. It's not bad. Um, it would probably be really good to pass around a campfire with some s'mores. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's like bourbon. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. Like I could do another one already, but I'm already too drunk to be doing that. What do you think for thirty four dollars? Whoa, it was $34? That's fine. Yeah, I'd buy it for $34. In fact, I'd not be embarrassed to bring it somewhere for $34. Because it's smooth. Is it smooth? I think it's smooth because it doesn't have like a gross aftertaste. Like maybe not initially it's smooth where it's like, I don't know, I had goosebumps, but that, I mean, it, it just gives I, me goosebumps no matter what. I don't know. There's something. It's not tequila. It's not vodka. It gives me goosebumps. Um, yeah. 
It's fine. Give me indigestion. And it's distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and bottled by Hirsch in Bardstown, Kentucky. Hirsch I wonder what bourbon. their carbon footprint is, because that seems like a waste of fucking time. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. No, I'm not. Why am I saying sorry? I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is like spicy and astringent up front. It's four years old and 11 months. It's almost five years old. We're fucking this up. We are. And you know what? Maybe it, that means it's our cue to sign off. Oh, Thank you so much for being here with us. Drink it while watching Deadwood. Sure. <laughs> or drink it because you want to. Or that too, I guess. Ooh, most of that went down my gin and down my, uh, my neck. Mm. Some of it went in my mouth. Ooh, kind of fiery. It's different than, we, we tried this last week, it's a spoiler, um, when we did a low country boil. Oh. Uh, I felt like it was more vanilla than that last time. And totally different experience. Which is, I don't know, that's the thing about drinking these whiskeys. One bottle is like golden, and then you get it the next time and it's like rubbing alcohol or something. Yeah, I, that went right the up my first, nose that it tasted like rubbing alcohol. Yeah, the first bottle we got had very complex notes of, I thought, I'm going to say vanilla, but I had no, it was sort of had a sweet, pungent niceness, and it had other notes that we have no idea what they were. But it was a complex kind of taste. This one has an initial front punch. That's what went straight up Brian's nose. Mm -hmm. Is that the alcohol? Um, Probably. It had an astringent penny kind of thing going on the tongue. Did you get the astringent thing? Just spicy, kind of regular. It doesn't have a bad after flavor though. It's kind of nice. The lingering flavor is kind of not bad, right? Yeah, lingering is not good. But hey, but, if you put this, yeah. if you put this, yeah, in. like a splash of it in yeah. like a nice, cool drink. lemonade, right? And yeah, like, we do have a tradition look, of drinking cool. the whiskey lemonades in the summer. Yeah, it's summertime, man. It's summer, yeah, Ruggie. Gotta, we gotta need our some, vitamin C I and lemonade drink some cold shit with cold. And cool off. I'm a 275-pound man. Mm -hmm. I'm and 500 if I pounds. And if I don't cool down, oh, I'm going to pass the hell out. We are going to die. Now, I'm going to do a little half shot. Do you want any more? Uh, no. no. I'm good. Um, this was $34, which is a lot... And it's not a lot. The whiskey price nowadays is, it's, so many things are over 40. They're easily in the 50s. It's like most bottles I look at, the new bottles are like 50. I would say try for 34 bucks, it's a good try. Um, it's not my favorite thing, and when you're in the $34 range, I would go back to Jumpy Goat, um, High Prairie Bourbon, uh, the High West, or the Rye, the Double Rye. Not Larceny, but Elijah Craig, which is, creeping up into the 30s, right? Elijah Craig is solid. Four Roses, solid. Um, so, I don't know. If you're trying different whiskeys like we are, this is great. Try it. If you're looking just to get something better bang for the buck, I would go for something in the 20s or get a High West. High West, everything they make, I feel is golden. So, thank you for watching another drunken review by people that like drinking. Uh, please share, like, subscribe. Uh, please share and we said that and we'll see you next time and like, and tell like. Them to like and subscribe oh and please subscribe and hit the notification and bell. notification bell with the share mm -hmm. and the thing and then comment down below yeah but nice comments don't be mean yeah stop food. fighting in the comments all the time yeah. Snacks. yeah food drinks snacks get the snacks get the, the food, snacks and the drinks the drinks the drinks and the food fucking the food legend and the drinks and the snacks <laughs>